Welcome, 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 SOS, SOS, SOS Studios. Karibu, 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 SOS Studios. As I love you, we will be Kenya Rugby News. We'll be talking about Mambo Kabibiri, Servant Pali. Uh, we'll also be talking also about uh, the recent uh, Kenya, Kenya game. Kenya is going to play Zimbabwe this weekend. Tutakuwa pia tunongia also about uh, uh, the France, uh, New Zealand playing uh, South Africa this weekend. We also have also uh, Cabras pulling out of the Kabebele Sevens. What are your thoughts? What are your comments? Do you think Cabras uh, would have pulled out of uh, Kabebele? Do you think they lacked a uh, better squad or they didn't play or during the offseason? So isn't it just a question Leo? So first off, Kabebele Sevens. Uh, this week, uh, going into Kabebele Sevens, uh, uh, homeboys are leading the, not homeboys, KCB are leading the tally uh, in terms of uh, the, score, the scores. Uh, if you watched uh, the previous weekend, uh, KCB well, kwa wanongoza mainly because uh, in terms of their depth KCB had a better depth of players and uh, experience considering if you see uh, the likes of Olindi, the likes of uh, us, uh, also Onyala who we see all the likes of also experience Shadow Luloko uh, playing for KCB uh, we also saw Levi Abunga playing for the first time for KCB. And uh, I believe uh, if you consider both uh, the first tournament, uh, what really won KCB the tournament was also their bench. Uh, if you consider, let's say, like uh, the first half uh, compared to the second half, KCB had a better bench compared to most teams in the games. Ukiangalia, let's say, like uh, when KCB played Leos. Leos were able to hold off uh, KCB in the first half. But uh, during the second half, when uh, uh, Leos, Leos came, came uh, the KCB exchanged their subs in the second half. So that the Leos couldn't keep up with their subs. Mukaya Steve, KCB ni moto sana, but I think you can see the sevens, Queens Ama DJs will have it. I doubt if Queens will, in my opinion, I doubt if Queens might have it simply because wanna rebuild the team. Now, Kiangalia experience uh, their team members. Uh, only, let's say, two or three guys in the team have uh, that uh, experience. And it, it takes more than, uh, let's, say, uh, let's say, guys with experience to build a team. You also need uh, also guys to gel. Uh, in my opinion, uh, Queens don't have a strong bench, uh, considering they are fast. They might have four or five players who are good, but uh, considering they are the whole team, the team, the whole team is not a good, a good squad. But, so, but for me, KCB is still a good team to watch. Homeboys, homeboys for me are also a good team to watch. We consider the likes of, uh, uh, we have Victor Diambo, Leonard Mugaisi. Bob Muhati also played very well. He was very good in carrying the ball for homeboys uh, last weekend. Brian Juma, who is also a very, very good kicker. If you see, uh, if for homeboys, he, was, he really kicked the ball well, especially for conversion. One thing also to note, uh, Okiangalia, the seven circuit, how guys are playing now in the seven circuit. Uh, we don't have really good kickers. Let's say guys who can convert at the corner ends. A good example is, uh, let's say when uh, we guys score at the corners uh, during this seven circuit, most of our kickers don't know how to kick. I will let's say convert points so that at Okiangali HSB sevens when Kenya go play at the one stage, we we are we are unable to convert kicks. 
James o Mwansa anasema at KCB bado inachukua player to watch Ken Moseti. Uh, Ken Moseti is also a good player to watch hapo tujakata. Uh, for sevens, uh, Sidamona si kicheza sevens for a while but itakuwa poor pia kuna what he looks to bring to the team. Uh, I believe hata hapo where Ken Moseti is playing uh, he'll be switching between him, him himself and uh, Johnston Olidi. So Apple KCB have a bigger depth. Oh, no, no, let's say even with KCB having lost, uh, let's say Levi Amunga or and Nani, uh, let's say their top point scorer Onyala, they have uh, Ato Wira who's coming in for uh, Nani. For uh, uh, Nani, the, this player Vincent Onyala, and uh, Arthur Wira considering Amicheza Pia at the world stage, he also brings a lot to the to, to the play. But also Ken Mosete, I believe, is also a good player to watch. So it will also be interesting to see what he what he bring to the team. Uh, what Mukaya um, Steven uh, what happened to development rugby? Like you are failed to build talent in terms of academy level. I believe academy is Zico. Let's say just that Zico spread out throughout the country. Ukiangalia Kamaleo Daily Nation. We had uh, Nani. This guy, uh, Fred Olos, he was in the dailies. He was being highlighted uh, as, uh, rather, Impala Rugby was being highlighted as one of the academies that is going the game. And uh, considering many players have come from uh, Impala Academy and it was one of the uh, longest, I believe it, that what that's one of the first starting academies, Impala Academy. And even the guys who are at Simba Rugby, most of them came from uh, Impala Academy. So uh, in terms of uh, building talent, when you nasema Mukaya Steve, we still have a lot, a long way to go because uh, academies need to be spread out, not only in Kenya, but only uh, beyond Kenya. Academies need to be spread out, let's say, in, in areas like Kisumu, Mombasa, Meru, where there's also going to be the Kabinderi Sevens. Uh, we also have, uh, let's say, those far off areas like Eastern. So, Ukiangalia. What you're saying in terms of academies, academies are there, but academies are only spread out in Nairobi. So you find that the concentration or growth of the game is only less happening in Nairobi. But Kiangalia Kamatu Nataku Grow Game, the academies have to go beyond, let's say, areas like Nairobi to, let's say, this, those areas of Mashinani where uh, the, the rugby needs to be played more and you need to nurture more talent. And uh, Ukiangalia, what also uh, the Daily Nation was saying that uh, academies are the future growth of the game. But I believe, uh, in as much as academies are the future growth of the game, uh, the game st still needs a lot of more in terms of uh, sponsorship and in terms of uh, building the sport as a business. Uh, but oh, the sport isn't a business. So, in, in as much as uh, we are building the sport. The business aspect of the sport still needs to be cultivated in terms of uh, letting players play for salaries and letting players players earn for salary. Ukiangalia sai in as much as uh, the number of sports that we have in Kenya, we have uh, a very good or a large number of players who are playing rugby. But how many of them are professional? Very few. Ukiangalia the fraction. Ata ita kuja to 1%, ita kuja 0 point something percent of players are professional rugby players. Most of us, what we know, is rugby, then we are going semi-pro. Meaning, how do we know that it's a semi-pro? Where do the other 99% of the, the guys who are playing rugby also uh, feel or what what are happy. So the 99% of the guys who are playing rugby uh, won't stay in the sport for long in terms of being uh, professional rugby players. When I say my that upper hand in terms of rugby information 
provide top KRU officials and we take him to task on how our Kenya Sevens is drastically dropping in terms of international levels. Uh, for Kenya Sevens, I'll say that uh, Kenya Sevens, uh, for them, I don't know, that's, that's a leadership thing. But uh, if you consider uh, if it is leadership, who chose uh, the leadership? It is the clubs. And uh, who are the clubs? The clubs are made up of who? They are made up of uh, leaders. And who are these leaders at the club made up of? Our leaders when you have a club, ni watu pia tu wamevoti wana players. So, kisema ati, in terms of uh, KRU, uh, being that wameacha game in the chini, uh, it's, it's right and yes, be what, you still have to blame also the clubs and also the players because the people that still elect uh, KRU officials are the clubs. And who are the clubs? The clubs are made up of uh, our own players, players who have been in the game and players who have been elected at the leadership level. So, Bado, Ukiangalia uh, Said, it's a good thing that uh, I'll give it the last season was, uh, although we did perform well, but one of the key things that we need to learn, Ukiangalia, the number of exposed players that we exposed last season was quite higher in the national sevens, in the international sevens at HSBC level. If you see the, this coming year, Kenya took on more players who are exposed at that international level. So, say, you can only have to come to Lindy, you can only have to come to Onyala. These are guys who, if uh, that situation didn't uh, have happened last season during the, that player strike, we wouldn't have to know Lindy, we wouldn't have uh, guys like Onyala shining. So it is a gift and a curse what happened during last season. I believe uh, this this season, this coming season is also the Olympic year. So with the 2019 20, uh, 2020 HSBC 7th circuit will be really key in terms of uh, cementing players of uh, Let's say it's going to be an Olympic year. An Olympic year meaning that uh, we have to put more effort in terms of squad selection. We have to choose squads better in terms of what we want to take uh, to go represent Kenya at uh, the world stage during this coming year. And uh, beyond, okay, beyond that, as I just uh, finish on on the Kabeberi Sevens in terms of uh, players, uh, Kabeberi Sevens, uh, we look at uh, also Mwamba. Mwamba this time have uh, brought one guy in. in also in place of Daniel Tabu. Uh, if you look at Mwamba, uh, they fell off during that uh, KCB game. Uh, if you consider uh, what I saw Mwamba didn't do well was uh, in terms of uh, the, the players, uh, I believe they didn't hold on to the ball better. Uh, if you saw the second half, uh, Mwamba had uh, better, better the played the, the ball, uh, KCB played the ball better. They had more players uh, carrying the ball and uh, they kept the ball better in terms of uh, open open spaces. Uh, for Mwamba, they couldn't uh, put in phases when they played against KCB. So one of, one of the key things uh, Mwamba will look to cement this weekend in terms of when they're playing the key players, let's say the top teams, is keeping ball, uh, which is one thing that uh, I feel that they did do well during last weekend when they got the same as during that crunch matches. But Ukiangalia, in terms of uh, squad depth, uh, Mwamba have also one of the best squads in terms of depth. Uh, key to the key thing in uh, Ukiangalia, what will make teams win this season is going to be more of a uh, the squad depth. Squad depth is what will win most for most guys uh, this this seventh uh, circuit. If you don't have a good depth, if you don't have a, a good squad, you won't you won't uh, win this seventh circuit. And uh, beyond that, uh, let me just suggest something. And beyond that, 
I believe school depth is one of the key things that will make uh, guys win or lose uh, this seven circuit. Uh, beyond squad depth, I also believe that uh, also squad rotation uh, in terms of uh, recycling players and uh, making that you guys but uh, you guys don't get injury. So you need to have bigger depth in terms of players when you are a squad. And uh, beyond also squad depth, uh, if you look at uh, the teams to watch, I believe also Oilers is also one of the teams to watch coming into Kamebeli Sirens. Although they fell off uh, last last weekend, I believe they did one of the, uh, their key challenges. They did keep the ball well. So if they need to, one of the key things, Kama Oilers want to proceed during this Kabeberi service, they need to keep the ball well, uh, which is one of the weaknesses that they had during last weekend. Uh, moving on to the Simbas against Zambia, I believe the Simbas have the upper hand against Zambia. Though he hit a quarter, but I still believe Simbas will have an upper advantage over Zambia. Zambia are still a, a young team, they are still a young team that is learning. Uh, for me, I believe uh, what the team is now also doing is just getting an upper hand in terms of uh, conditioning. Conditioning and uh, choice of players in terms of squad jelly. So, Kiangalia, the players that have been chosen, who most of the players played in Uganda. Uh, if you look at uh, Zambia, there are teams that haven't been playing together for a long time. But if you consider, I believe the Simbas, if uh, the Simbas are going to be a good team, they need to play better opposition, in my opinion. If uh, the Simbas are going to be qualified for the next World, World Cup, although Zambia are a good team to play against, they aren't the optimal team to play against. Uh, teams, uh, then I think uh, Kenya should be playing or should look at to play is, uh, teams, international teams like Canada. Uh, last season, last year we played Hong Kong. Hong Kong, I believe, it's still an invitational team which you need to play against. Uh, Germany, these are teams you need to play against. Uh, teams like Russia. Uh, those uh, northern hemisphere teams and southern hemisphere teams, uh, we can consider how, how Kenya has been playing. Uh, we need to go to that next level, and if it is playing at that next level, it means uh, putting in uh, resources and uh, resources in terms of uh, uh, putting in resources in terms of giving players uh, to play international rugby against top quality teams. Although Zambia is a good team, but I believe Bado, Zambia will be a walkover for the boys. I believe the boys need to play better opposition, in my opinion. If uh, I was uh, at the rugby union, I'd be looking for a better team to play against the Simbas, because we still know that uh, the Simbas will win this weekend, like it or not. So for me, I believe that uh, the Simbas will take the day uh, at the end of the day. Uh, moving on, uh, South Africa are going to play New Zealand this weekend. Uh, I believe it's going to be a tougher opposition. Uh, the cards, me, uh, I still, my cards are on South Africa to win this. Uh, but most of the guys think New Zealand, uh, maybe what do you guys think? I, me, I think my cards are on uh, South Africa, although they have a tough nut to crack. Uh, New Zealand are still testing out their players and their players ahead of this uh, the Rugby World Cup but uh, also South Africa a uh, team not to look down upon. Although the favour is on New Zealand to win this one uh, my cards are on uh, South Africa to take it by a draw or New Zealand to win it by a point but my cards are on South Africa. And lastly uh, uh, our guys from uh, Western uh, Cabras keeping the Kakamega, not the Kakamega Sevens, but rather the Kabeberi Sevens. I believe, uh, in my opinion, Cabras uh, didn't have a good off season coming into their own tournament. 
I believe uh, for them they need to this weekend was also a chance for them for them to get their conditioning right even if they are waiting for senior teams but I believe uh, for them uh, they shouldn't have skipped if I was the coach I shouldn't have skipped uh, the Kabeberi sevens because you don't get better at sevens by not playing sevens you get better at sevens by playing sevens and the only way to get better at sevens for Cabras is to, I believe in my opinion, they should have played during the Kabeberi sevens. But uh, the coach knows better. Anyway, he's the coach, that's why he's the coach. Anyway, in my opinion, if I was the coach, I would have given uh, Cabras uh, time to play at the Kabeberi sevens. Because for much fitness, Ukiangalea, how they played at uh, that game during the uh, the, the own tournament uh, during the third fourth games fatigue started to creep in and the, the like key players only guys like Tanga were the guys who were they say pushing the team they didn't have finishers guys who who you thought were to come uh, uh, let's say from the they drop uh, most of the guys like Keegan who expected to shine didn't shine but uh, maybe that was because they didn't have much uh, participation let's say, during their off season. But there are guys who played well during the off season, especially the Kusa Sevens. There are team Kama most uh, guys who KU and uh, also who played in the Division Two, although they didn't make it to to Division One. There are what Kama this guy's machine. Those guys who played uh, well during the the Kusa Sevens, who are in the top three positions, they played well during the the beginning of the seventh circuit. Meaning that Ukiangalia uh, Zile teams in let's say the Kusa Sevens there is a is a good tournament for teams who are preparing for the national seventh circuit. So I believe teams also to watch in this. Uh, Kabeberi Sevens, Kina Must, Must are also a team to watch during the Kabeberi, during the Kabeberi Sevens, and they can only get better. Must are a team to watch. Also, watch out for teams like Northern Suburbs. Uh, they have that uh, in terms of uh, their players playing also in the uh, junior team uh, against uh, KCB training with KCB. They also are a team to watch. And also, uh, and also put uh, my money on uh, still on homeboys uh, in terms of Bufa uh, coming into the team. Uh, I believe at a, at a, there's a more physical, he's more physical. But for homeboys, in terms of uh, the final, I believe homeboys didn't, okay, final, they didn't keep the ball better in terms of phases. Uh, that is what where KCB capitalized on in terms of uh, that final. KCB had a better better chance of uh, keeping the ball against uh, homeboys. Homeboys didn't uh, really capitalize on their ball in terms of work a ball into phases. And uh, where where also KCB pumps them was in terms of uh, their mistakes. So if uh, coming into this weekend, if homeboys can keep the ball better, uh, they will also be a team to watch. Uh, one of also the key teams for me, Kuangalia, this weekend, me also uh, Stratmo. Stratmo walicheza vizuri sana, especially their winger. But Ukiangalia, for me, uh, what uh, Stratmo is doing well is they are keeping the ball better. But where they are falling off is uh, in terms of when it comes to the second half. Maybe because they don't have a better bench. If they had a better bench, they would have, uh, let's say for me, they would have secured or been a better team or, or reached the final. If you look at uh, the first tournament, let's say the Kakamega Sevens, uh, Strathmore was the only team that uh, pushed uh, KCB to the wire. And it was only in the second half when uh, KCB made the changes that uh, Strathmore were Kachilia, or they let the gear down. But if you moving on to the next tournament, I believe if Strathmore can uh, put in more work, in, especially for their bench, they are doing uh, the right things well in terms of uh, 
for playing the ball and pushing the ball from end to end uh, for for also their defense ukiangalia uh, they are using the chokesha tactic in terms of uh, they say choking the ball carrier and forcing the ball into a ball or removing in terms of getting the ball back so that is one thing that i believe strathmore is also a team to watch during this kapeberi sevens so let me know what is your team for the tournament uh, during this kapeberi sevens uh, see you there uh, in case of uh, any questions hit me up on my pm uh, cheers and uh, see you on the next one